Hey guys, it's Cass Blake, giving you a little cosplay review. Uh, my daughter and I are really big fans of my Kanto, and we want to cosplay as Louisa and Mirabelle from the movie. And uh, while Louisa's costume is, uh, dress is pretty simple and I probably could bang it out pretty quickly, uh, Mirabelle's is very, very, very detailed. Um, it'll probably take me forever to make it uh, longer, so long in fact that my daughter will probably be out of the fandom before I finish it. So instead, we decided to go the uh, capitalist route and buy costumes off the rack. Luckily, Disney came through for us, and they had a sale this weekend, this past weekend, and they came the day. So let's take a close look at them. Um, first, we're going to look at Louisa, since she's right here. Um, and I was very pleasantly surprised with the, with the quality, but Disney does make uh, quality thing, uh, quality outfits. Uh, the lace here is. Um, very nice. It's very good quality. Uh, it's got the bow there on the waist. It's got uh, also quality lace. In the back, it, the lace doesn't go all the way around. Uh, it's still got an elastic waistband, which is great if you're thick-waisted like I am. Uh, this is an extra large. Uh, it is a little big on me, but I'm also on the smaller end of the extra large scale on the size chart so um i'd rather it be bigger than not big enough so i can always take it in but it does fit very very well so i'm happy with that um the the uh, fabric is a kind of a polyester blend the shirt feels like um kind of like a muslin uh cotton uh chemise uh, the skirt feels more like a dupioni silk, which um, I wasn't thrilled with, um, but I'm not complaining about it because it's um, because you get what you pay for. Uh, the let me see if I can bring the skirt a little bit closer so you guys can see the bottom and the top stripes on the skirt are embroidered. Uh, but the middle stripe is um, it's actually printed as not embroidered, which I was a little disappointed about, but again, not complaining um, uh, because this is an off-the-rack thing that Disney sold. Um, this costume retails for about $70. Um, I got it on sale for $48, so for $48, the quality is really, really good, um, as you could expect from Disney. Uh, the next one is Mirabelle's dress. Uh, this is a size 5 slash 6. This is a little big on my daughter. She just started wearing size 5 clothes this summer. And look how cute it is. And um, it does have a lot of the details from the movie. It's pretty screen accurate. Um, there was a deluxe version of this dress. Uh, that was 70 bucks, And uh, I might have spent 70 bucks on a costume my daughter's going to grow outgrow in a year. Um, the difference between this and the deluxe is that the deluxe has more embroidery. Um, most of the details on this dress are actually printed on here. Um, but there's so many details. Um, the printing is actually really, really good. Um, again, pretty impressed. Uh, Mirabelle's name is actually embroidered on the waistband, which I, and there's an embroidered little butterfly from, from the movie. And it goes all the way around. It's got an elastic waistband like Louisa does. And uh, this one retails for, I think, about $50. I would have to check on the Disney store. But it was on sale for $17. And um, this is about what I would want to pay for something off the rack for a five-year-old. So, um, again, it's a little big on her. Um, you know, I'll show you some fringe here. It's got little fringes, the, the, uh, the eyelet lace. So overall, pretty good for $17. So um, I just thought I would share. We'll, um, we'll get the other things later, um, see if Sarah, my daughter will tolerate wearing a wig. I'm going to get away from myself, and um, I know where I can find the uh, like the espadrilles uh, on Etsy. So um, I'll probably post a video update uh, when I get those. Um, that's another paycheck that... Um, We'll have to wait. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you at a convention soon. Bye bye.